Look, I'm doing a video. with another video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become part of the heel gang and also make sure that your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any uploads from me okay yeah so i record videos at least once a week sometimes more but make sure that your bell is turned on so you won't miss out all right so if you read the title of this video this is actually my vision board for 2020 now this is my first time making a vision board and I've always been a believer, you know I me, mean? if you write the vision, make it plain. But this is my first time actually creating my own board, okay? So it's not too late, even though we're like we're in the middle of January, we're almost February, it's not too late to start your vision board, okay? So for me, I'm a mother, I work full time, and you know, I have boys, I have um, a blended family, I have a dog, we just bought a home. So there is a lot that's been going on with me personally in my life, and I also got a baby that's too. Okay, so yeah, so for me, my vision board is going to be a little bit different. I mean, of course, it's going to be my goals, but it's also going to include, you know, uh, my family goals. You know what I mean? Because I am a mother. I do feel like, you know, mothers, we, we cannot be selfish. My vision board is going to include what I, what I would like for, you know, my goals are for 2020 and also what I would like for my family in 2020. Okay. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, y'all. So basically... Um, I write a lot of things down, okay? Um, I know we, we live in a digital world. You can use your iPhone, your computer. But for me, I feel like I do a better job of writing down my ideas, my goals. And, you know, it just gives me a, a better visual of where to start, okay? So I use my little notebook here. Um, I use this as a planner. I use this for my ideas for my videos. I use this for just about anything that I need to write down. I kind of keep it in my own little planner okay so what I did first was I went ahead and I wrote down what are my goals you know what I mean like my goals for 2020 these are not my long-term goals but these are my goals of what I wish to accomplish this year in 2020 okay so I started thinking about you know all the things I've done already and all the things that is you know that, that are going to get me to my long-term goal and you know just writing down these these you know these goals or these steps or whatever it just kind of helped me figure out all right what do I want on my vision board you know what needs to be on my vision board you know and I've looked at other videos on YouTube and I've you know seen other visions board you know vision boards and I've gotten so many you know inspirations on you know what to do and one of the most important pieces of advice that I did see on another young lady's channel was you have to be detailed and your vision board you know what i mean you have to be pacific you know so um that was one thing that i try to you know do my best of is trying to be pacific when it came to my vision board because i want to make sure that you know whatever i put on my vision board i'm trying to accomplish you know what i mean and i, I so anyway I, my thing was trying to be pacific okay so i'm just going to show y'all my vision board and yeah we're gonna go from there all right, y'all, so this is my vision board for 2020. Hopefully, y'all can see all the things that I got up here. And I'm also, also going to do, uh, I'm also going to show you a better shot of my vision board as I go over all the things that I hope to accomplish in 2020 and all the things that, you know, I hope God can help me accomplish in 2020, all right? So over here, I go over my finances and basically, you know, what I want to be profitable um, for 2020, you know. And then over here, I have some of my family goals. Uh, in 2020, I have some of my health goals. And I also put inspirational words all over my board because, you know, um, a lot of these things have meaning to me, you know. So I'm definitely going to go over it in detail so you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So we're going to start over on the left side of the board. And well, I'm sorry, the right side of the board. And of course, um, 
the first thing I got on it is 10 times my savings. So basically 10 times savings is by this time next year, I hope to have 10 times what's in my savings right now. Okay, and I jotted down a number. So I kind of got an idea of, you know, um, whatever 10 times that will be. But that is my goal for 2020 to have 10 times my savings. Um, of course, cash, you know, who don't want cash? You, you know what I mean? So just to be profitable. And when I say cash, just not like not money in my wallet. I mean cash as far as like a job. I mean as far as like, you know, getting a raise or um, even getting a better position, okay? And then saving money, you know what I mean? Like I'm learning, um, you know, ways to actually save money and, you know, being better at um, being more frugal with my money and making, you know, making it work for me. Whether it be eating out less, whether it be buying less shoes, you know, actually just, you know, making a difference when it comes to like even shopping or, you know, shopping for my children, taking care of the things that I already got so I don't have to keep buying it over and over again. You know what I mean? So it doesn't necessarily to me mean money, but just something that can help me to achieve my goal in the end. Okay. So then you want to see the ladder. For me, the ladder means an increase in position, um, getting a better job, um, you know, where I'm, where I'm at now, I like my position, but I'm always striving for better. I'm always striving for greater. And a wise man once said to me, um, never be comfortable. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm continually striving. I'm continually trying to climb up that ladder. Um, of course, you see the credit card symbols and free. We all know that means debt free. Now, no, I'm not in debt, but, you know, I want to make sure that by 2020, I don't have any credit card bills. Okay, so that is my goal for 2020. I want to be, you know, uh, have less uh, debt as possible. And I think right now we're doing pretty good. Um, also, you will see it says beautiful outdoor area. Now, for me, this means my deck. Now, I haven't started decorating my deck since I've been here, since I moved in about two years ago. So, that is my goal. I want to complete my deck. I want to finish my outside um, patio. And I want to be able to come out there and have a cup of coffee and just chill. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to, like, just relax on my deck and just enjoy the view. Um, of course, you see life, health, and fitness. You see the bowl of fruit there. That's obvious. Just taking care of myself, working out, eating right. And that also means my children, you know, making sure that we eat healthier, making, incorporate more vegetables, more fruits, you know, in our diet. Um, of course, you know, it's always hard for me to get my kids to eat vegetables. So I'm thinking of ways I can make it, you know what I mean, kind of sneak that in there, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> and then at the bottom, you'll see... A picture of a lady relaxing and a man chilling in his chair and you'll see the word you now for me this means self-care i feel like i do not take enough self-care days out for me okay so i plan on doing this at least once a month at least i'm not going to work not you know not doing anything work related not checking my social media you know just 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 a self day care for me so it can be reading, it can be getting my nails done, it can be going to the spa, but this is a day that I take out just for me to relax and to, you know, reflect on everything that's going on, everything I've already done, but just to be work-free for that day. And I think we all need self-care days, but this is what I plan on doing, okay? And then, of course, you see um, in the middle, we're going to start in the middle, it says, be a blessing. My ultimate goal for 2020 is to be more generous in my giving not financially but also with advice you know just just being present just you know trying to make a difference in somebody's life i'm not saying i got to be the next martin luther king the next rosa parks but i do feel like i have so much to give and i want to be able to be a blessing to somebody else you know what i mean and and, and then ultimately if you're a blessing to somebody else the lord will definitely you know what i mean be gracious and blessing you you know what i mean so i always feel like that like definitely if i have it i'll give it um towards the middle you'll see 3k 3k on instagram 3k on youtube my main goal is at least get 3k on youtube i wasn't put a higher number but i got kind of like uh, let me just see how this year go. But my ultimate goal is to get at least 3K on YouTube, okay? You'll see the word that says always moving forward. Of course, it's as, as plain as day. Keep moving. Um, at the bottom, you see success throughout the new year. I want to be successful in everything that I touch. And I feel like with God, I will do that. Um, run my own business. I mean, some people look at YouTube as a business. I do too, because I feel like you it, YouTube is a lot of work. But ultimately, I do want to run my own business, whether it be YouTube, online, or anything like that. My goal is to ultimately run my own business, okay? 
Um, at the end, it says balancing matters. Y'all, when it comes to being a mom, we all know that balancing it all <clears throat> is definitely a struggle. You know what I mean? When you have kids, you have a job, you have a family, and then also also trying to be a mom, you know, a momatreneur, trying to start your own business is a lot. So just being able to balance it all for me is uh, one of those things I'm going to try my best at doing this year too, okay? Um, you'll also see the word strong, of course, plain as day, strong. Um, believe, the word believe to me means having a stronger belief in God, you know, getting closer to God and, you know, just, just having that faith to continue on. You know, um, I heard a message where the guy was saying, like, you know, give God a chance to fail. And that really stuck with me. You know what I mean? Like he has never failed me. So why am I so scared to just step out on faith? You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's what that word believes to me. So I'm going to definitely try and step out on faith this year. I'm going to do a lot of things out of my comfort zone. And we're just going to see how that goes. Um, also, you'll see the beach scene. you see the right here, the states. Okay, that just, I mean, of course, who doesn't want to travel? So my goal is to take more travel days. I want to do more state-bound trips. Louisiana is definitely on my list. Um, I also want to do a tropical trip because I love, I love being anywhere hot. I, I love being in the sun. Yeah, yeah. So... I'm thinking like, you know, somewhere like that is definitely on my list as well. Jamaica, Aruba, you know, we'll definitely see. We plan on doing with the boys this year where, you know, as far as like going to the aquarium, the museum, reading more books. That goes for me and them. Taking them to, the, to their first NBA game. And I feel like all of these are so easy to do being that we are here in Atlanta. All right, y'all. So that is it for my vision board of 2020, um, my mom vision board. So, y'all, I hope you guys get inspired to do your own vision board for 2020. Um, let me know your thoughts, your comments, and, yeah. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for all the subscribers who've already subscribed. And, yeah, let's, you know, write the vision and make it plain, all right? So, mwah. Till next time. Bye, you too.